Hello and welcome to Cool Electric Guitar Riff of the Day. This is number six and this one is going to be uh, over an A chord but we'll be able to move it up and down so it fits over other chords and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now just the opening part of that is very useful, you don't even need the end part. How am I working this out? Right, think of an F shape on the 5th fret. That's an A chord. Now just lift off your 3rd finger and tip your 1st finger up so it's only on the B string. So you're on the 5th fret of the B and the 6th fret of the G. Now move that down 2 frets into sort of the G position if you like, F shape 3rd fret. And <clears throat> you're going to have to play the G string with the downstroke of your plectrum. And then you slur the entire shape up two frets into the, uh, the F shape A position, if you like. And it's a dugout slur. Now, I've spoken about this on previous riffs. It means that you hear the note you're slurring from and the note you're slurring to. So having arrived up there on fret six and five, play an upstroke on the B, play the G string again, slur back down, same way, dugout slur, Play the B string, so that gives you like that. So the way you would count that would be one a and a two a. Then just keep doing that. They do two complete ones, and then just the first half, so that it brings you up to frets five and six. complete ones and don't forget when you restart you start from down on the fourth fret you don't slur back so here is the start of the new one and then when you go to restart you move back silently you don't slur back so three of those completely so that's you know so if you just do that for a G chord there's your F shape G to come down two frets so you're basically slurring up and down a tone um, from your kind of root position. So imagine you're so we'll playing a G chord like that, and you have like a. So it works really well. But we're in we're in A. We'll keep it on the uh, A chord. Now once you've done three of those, you can do this. Effect go from this A chord to this A chord, which is obviously an octave on the sort of uh, first position A chord. So you start in the normal way, uh, two frets below, so you, you're slurring from 4 to 6 G, and then the first finger tucks in behind on 5 B, dug out slur, downstroke on the G, upstroke on the B. Now, from where you are, play the G string again, slur up. The second finger, one fret. Lift your third finger off and put your third finger behind the seventh fret of the B. Play an upstroke on that, so you've got seven G and seven B. Now do the same thing up two frets. So you go from that straight shape to that straight shape. So you're on the ninth fret of the G and the ninth fret of the B. Just recap. Now you're going to play the G string, slur up two frets. Take your third finger off, tuck your first finger in behind on the tenth fret of the B, so you're back to your kind of diagonal shape you started with. And then do that up uh, a tone again. By a tone, I mean two frets. So you're up on the diagonal shape, twelfth fret of the B, thirteenth fret of the G. And then to finish, play the G string again, slur the second finger up one fret to the fourteenth fret of the G. And the third finger goes behind the 14th fret of the B and you play that with an upstroke. So that is that kind of part of that A chord there. So the final uh, movement of that is. So let's play the whole riff. One, two, three, four.
obviously you can move that up and down. So if you wanted to play it over a, a, a B chord, okay, so B uh, is an F shaped seventh fret. So in your normal position, your second finger would be behind the eighth fret of the G, first finger would be behind the seventh fret of the B. So move that down two frets and do what you did uh, just a tone higher, two frets higher. <laughs> over a B chord. So I'm all about movable shapes. I love these shapes. You can move up and down so they fit uh, behind different chords. Obviously very much a major-ish kind of uh, riff this. I hope you enjoyed that. Watch out for the next one.